Well, most African Americans are familiar with the story of Jackie Robinson, who was the first African American to play Major League Baseball. But Americans know very little, if anything at all, about who broke the color barrier in professional football. A new film titled Forgotten Four, The Integration of Pro Football, debuts tomorrow night. It tells the story of the first four African Americans who played pro ball. Take a look. There was Kenny Washington. When Kenny Washington set foot on the UCLA campus, he was already a star. He could do everything. Marion Motley. He was just a man among boys. The guy like that coming through the line and scares you. Bill Willis. Bill was a great player. His style was giving all out effort all the time. Woody Strode. He had the reputation of being the perfect physical specimen. His development as an athlete was just natural. These four men were celebrated on the fields on Saturday. But they were not drafted in the NFL because the league was segregated. Wes Smith is the executive producer of the film, and he joins us now in our New York studio here at Rise America. Welcome to Rise America, and congratulations on Thank this film. I've you. got to say, I had no idea about this story, and I'm imagining you're running into that a lot. Is that why you wanted to do this film? I didn't have any idea either. Uh, it took uh, the opportunity to meet Bill Willis in 2006, and then another eight years to finally get the story told. And many people haven't heard of Bill Willis, Marion Motley, Kenny Washington nor, nor Woody Strode with regard to professional football. And what's crazy about this is this happened a whole year before Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in uh, Major League Baseball. It's just incredible. Uh, so I want you to talk a little bit about these four gentlemen and particularly their differing experiences on their two respective teams. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, two teams integrated in 1946, the Los Angeles Rams and the Cleveland Browns. The Los Angeles Rams applied to play in the L.A. Coliseum for their home games in 1946. Because the L.A. Coliseum is a publicly funded facility, the African-American sports writers and the community forced them to require the Rams to integrate and not discriminate based on race. So those players, Kenny Washington and Woody Strode, played for the L.A. Rams. They were not exactly welcomed by their teammates nor the rest of the league. On the other hand, the Cleveland Browns hired Bill Willis and Marion Motley, and their coach, Paul Brown, welcomed them to the team. They had a much better experience. The teammates were supportive of the players. Even when other teams were not playing fairly with them, they came to their protection. And so they had a completely different experience. Those two players, Bill Willis and Marion Motley, actually are now in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And their experience there was tremendous. They helped the Cleveland Browns win five championships in a row. And that speaks so much to how, how um, much the atmosphere in which they were playing made all the difference in, in their own performance and even the performance of the team. Exactly right. Exactly right. Now, they were critical members of the team, key players who they relied on immensely. And they welcomed them, and they all achieve their goals together. Wes, all of these players, of course, have passed, uh, passed on. So mm -hmm. where did you get the information and who did you talk to? Uh, the, the last player to pass was Bill Willis. He died in uh, November 2007. I had the opportunity to meet him in 2006. And I actually traveled with him to, from Columbus, Ohio, to Indianapolis, Indiana, for the NFL Combine, where he was being honored. So I traveled in the car with him for six hours and I got to hear these amazing stories mm. uh, directly from him that I had never heard about before. And I had played football and, and, and am a student of history. And so I was surprised that I didn't hear them. So I'm certain that if I had not heard about them, most others have not either. Why do you think that is? This is a very well-kept secret. You know, in, in 1946, baseball was America's pastime. And it was the most popular sport by far. Uh, football was almost like a stepchild in terms of sports. College football was even more popular than professional football back then. Uh, now, football is the king of the hill. It's the most popular sport by far, and it's time for the story to be told. The other thing is that the NFL is, the teams are owned by a number of family businesses. Their grandfathers and their fathers were the ones that were involved in the 30s 
when the league segregated. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think there was a lot of motivation for them to share some of these stories. Mm, so interesting. Before we run out of time, I want you to tell me two things, how people can see the film. But before we get to that, mm -hmm. uh, you have a really interesting story about what one player said that if he had to integrate heaven. Tell us about that. I tell you what, <laughs> and, and uh, these guys went through a tough time, you know, particularly the two Los Angeles Ram players, Kenny Washington and Woody Strode. Uh, Woody Strode is quoted as saying, if I have to integrate heaven, I don't want to go. That's <laughs> how much of a difficult time he had yeah. playing in the NFL, and he only played for one season. I mean, it was such a challenge for him that uh, I think you know, he certainly Having grown up in to, the segregated South, I understand that sentiment. Struggle. Tell people how they can see your film. The film can be seen on Epic's network uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, September 23rd at 8 p.m., both Eastern Standard and Pacific Standard Time. All right. It is called Forgotten for Wes Smith. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow for another edition of Rise America.